Stecker. One, two, three, four. Impossible! Yokai watch. Wood wobbers. Robert here. There was a time, maybe nine months ago, maybe six months ago, when I would have stated that Wibwob was roughly a year behind Puni in its events. Then we hit a wall, where there weren't really any more Puni events we could have because Yokai Watch 3 hasn't been released in the US. We got some really good Mega Yokai events this summer, and then randomly, we started getting Yokai Watch 3 Yokai. All of a sudden, we're kinda back on track, and here we are. The last Nyan Mirai finally arrives. Even NHN notes that here, perhaps realizing just how long people have been waiting for this American legend. He's got the highest attack stat, as well as a slew of tie-ins to this event and the upcoming score attack. The mainstream way to get him is to crank his showdown pass. He's even got a new food, tempura, to feed him when you try and befriend him. The main event is the popcorn scramble. I know, I know, so many scrambles. But here's the thing, you see last Nyan Mirai there? It'll be worth it. The scramble works in the same fashion as the previous one. There are five rounds, each three days. You pick one of the three teams and try and earn contribution points by breaking point balls. Depending on where your team places, you'll get differing team rewards. Depending on where you place personally, you'll get differing personal rewards. Everything starts over again when the period ends. As for prizes, the top five on each team will receive last Nyan Mirai without having to befriend him. Let that sink in a little. Ranks 6 to 15 will get Dr. E Racer, or another yokai depending on the period, as well as a showdown pass. So when you're playing the scramble, surprise surprise, last Nyan Mirai is going to give you a huge bonus to contribution points. Kind of a catch-22, but it is what it is. Separately, Dr. E Racer gives a 50% bonus to contribution points. The Jawsome Kid can easily break the scramble point balls. From there, it's all about capture stages. Last Nyan Mirai gives a bonus and all the Awoken Yokai do as well. Last piece of news, we're getting a special score attack event starting next week as well. Narwhal and Whaleman from the third Yokai Watch movie, if I'm remembering correctly, will be the bosses. As you can see, I've saved up 4 million Y money and I'm going to get a last Nyan Mirai pass. Let's see how long it takes. Here's the crank list. Passes not only for last Nyan Mirai, but for Ornyan M are available. Three SS ranks are also present, as are a whole host of S ranks, including the highly valuable Arachnival, Unikirin, and the new Jossum Kid, Dr. Eraser, and D-Story. Within the A ranks, there's the new Too Much To Take and Shobanyan. Of course, there are B ranks too, just because, well, there are always B ranks. 30,000 Y money down and... Shobanyan, formerly known as Robanyan USA. Shobanyan is a tough A rank rearranger. One hundred thousand Y more, it's destroy. Destroy is a slippery S rank range popper. Another thirty K, and it's a blue owl. Too much to take is a mysterious A rank stunner. Only 700,000 more, and it's one of the contribution bonus yokai for this event. Dr. E Racer is a shady S rank horizontal popper. Impossible! Just 200,000 more, and it's a wrestling shark. The Jawsome Kid is a tough S-Rank Center Popper.
about 350,000 more, or 1.4 million cranked in total, and it's the Showdown Pass. There's no time like the present, let's go get Last Neon Mirai. We haven't had too many past Yokai and Wibwab, but they've all been pretty good, and Last Neon Mirai is no exception. I've gone ahead and done all the missions to get the best tempura. Bought five of them, so we're good to go. I've got my usual befriending team, but this time I've decided that even though Shmoopy is, well, terrible, I'm bringing as many befrienders as possible. I don't know why, but I have a phobia when it comes to continues during past battles. They shouldn't have any impact, yet I failed the last few I continued on. I'm just going to try and get as many Befriender usages as possible, and if I continue, I continue. He's almost knocked out, and there's that continue, but I can do a few more Befriending Sultimates. And there's the last hit. Wait, what am I forgetting? First rule of American Legend Pass Battles, make sure you feed them. Did I really forget to feed him the tempura? 1.4 million. No befriending. I cranked through another 600,000, but didn't get another pass. It's time to go through the scramble and earn a top spot. I'm coming into the scramble pretty late, 9 hours from the start to be exact. I was still grinding in Puni, trying to get Y points and then make the Busters 2 video, but that's okay. It gave me a chance to assess teams, and I'm hoping yellow will be a good one. The contribution rewards are pretty blah this round, except for the Jossum Kid. That's a heck of a contribution reward, considering he's an S rank and brand new. I'm going to speed through the first five stages, because while there's some newer yokai in there, we've seen them all in the previous event. We're here on stage six, and it's Usapion. Usapion in Japanese, but he's not just in Japan anymore. People have been waiting, and waiting, and waiting for this yokai to show up. He's even in the opening movie for the game, yet we haven't had him. He takes donuts, a new food, and unfortunately you can't actually buy the third cosmic donut until you befriend Usapion, which puts us at a disadvantage. Everyone's results will vary, but I have no idea what it is with befriending in me on this event. Almost every new low rank yokai was brutal to get, and some went a lot farther than that. A lot, lot farther. Usapion took me 90 battles. The vast majority of those I used full befriending teams. Anyhow, I got him. It's done. No one has to wait for him anymore. Usapion is a shady B rank diagonal popper. Stage 7 features the new yokai. Oh, wheel. He's a car. And a yokai. Wouldn't befriend me. Finally did. O'Wheel is a tough E-rank single attacker. It's up a few more stages until we hit stage 13 with Obaga. I couldn't tell you why, but I think it's pretty cool that while his name is spelled differently, phonetically they've kept it the same as in Japan. Continuing a slightly worrying trend, Obaga takes hamburgers for food. Why are there so many yokai who eat their own kind? It's strange. Baku is going to befriend me because I forgot to knock Obaga out first. That one was my fault. I've decided that I need to get going with the scramble to place in the top ranks. After I've unlocked all the stages and gotten all of my stars, I can come back and befriend them as I need while defense stages pop up here and there. So we move on to stage 15, which is Nomi. No reason to normally show you this, but it's the hidden stage unlock. I'm going to super speed through it. I know you guys are going to want to know what the hidden stage unlocks are for the upcoming periods. As I find them out, I'll try and tweet them, so make sure to follow me on Twitter. My Twitter account is listed under the Robotwatch logo. 
In order to unlock that stage, it was 35 combos or more, which was easy to do since I'm fortunate enough to have Liberty Neon SS. The first hidden stage is unsheltered, which would have been exciting, except we just had him in the Whisper event, out of order. Moving on. Stage 17 is Tomorrow Gal, but she's brought a friend with her. Here's got it made. By this point, you should sense a pattern. I'm going to battle, but she's not going to drop. It's okay. It's just how things go sometimes. She takes one of the new American foods, pasta. It's really Italian, but okay. No luck on the first try, but try, try again. Got It Made is a heartful C-rank healer. That's really it for this side of the map. Since the teams are non-player characters, we don't battle them as bosses. The three bosses are Badnyon, Jibanyon, and Usapion. So now that we've cleared that, it's time to head on to the other side of the map. Oh my gosh, it's OM Gator. He's here as part of a largely non-threatening trio of green yokai. Even though I'm not showing a lot of battles, you may notice that I don't have a scramble-focused team. I've chosen to use a blended team as I go through these stages and unlock them. Enough boosters to make some Y money, yet Liberty Neon SS to clear some scramble balls and Dr. E Racer for the bonus. Checking in... Nope, he doesn't befriend me. We'll come back for him, gotta keep scrambling. No rest for the weary. Alright, stage 12 introduces us to Put a Sock in It, who you'll notice resembles Snidewinder from the Whisper event. Even though I started 9 hours in, I actually had to stop playing for big chunks of the day and get some work done. I know, work, right? In any case, it seemed to temporarily reset my befriending luck. Put a sock in it knows what's up. Join the team, sock man. Put a sock in it is a slippery E rank single attacker. We've moved on quite a bit and we're here at stage 18. Two fan. Why on earth would I show you two fan? Well, turns out both Obaga and OM Gator are here too. Really can't resist the opportunity, so I feed them both. Obaga is the first to drop. It took a while, but I've now got a spazzy hamburger in my medallion. Obaga is a tough, D-rank horizontal popper. Another try and... There's OM Gator. OM Gator is a slippery, D-rank popper. It's one, two stages up to Grumple, so we can work on the hidden stage unlock. Super not interesting, just going to fast forward. The unlock condition is getting a Wibwob to size 30 or bigger, which is why I had that freakishly large Elder Bloom. The second hidden stage features Repossessor. Seriously, that is one angry house. The crazy eyes, the balled up fists, the raging garage door. If he were more than a C-rank, you would not want to mess with him. At all. No luck, but a few more tries and he's mine. Possessor is a tough C-rank guard. That does it for the map, with one exception. There's also a little alien running around here as a rare encounter. 
It's Starry Noko, and I believe you can find him on most stages, although I saw him almost exclusively on stages 5 and 6. I decided to reset until I found him again on stage 5 after I had befriended Usapion and bought some cosmic donuts, as all my attempts before had failed. I went in with a full befriender team, and it would take me on average about 15 resets to get him to show up time and again. Unfortunately, it was all for naught. I've battled him around 15 times, but he simply hasn't dropped for me, even with the Cosmic Donuts. Who doesn't befriend for a Cosmic Donut? It's absurd. In any case, Starry Noko is, well, a Noko. Starry Noko is a slippery B-rank Y-Money booster. I'll pick him up during the rest of the scramble. The last thing, of course, is to actually battle within the scramble. It's a marathon. Three-day periods are much better than the four-day periods we started with months ago, but they're still rough. Two-thirds of the way through the second day I had 200,000 contribution points in first place and a 60,000 point lead over sixth place. My team is in second, but there's not much I can do about that. In terms of rewards, I'm in the sweet spot within first to fifth, and that's all I really care about. Frankly, even dropping down into the top 15 would be fine because you still get the pass, but the top 5 is a guarantee. At this point I stopped, went out to a movie, worked on this video a little, and went to bed. When I woke up in the morning, everyone was close or past my score. So I battled all day, and with a little under 2 hours to go, I had almost 340,000 and a 50,000 point lead over 5th place. There's no way anyone can push me out of the top 5 now so I can work on this video again and wait for the rewards to come out. Oh, there they are. Looks like Team Katie pulled out the big W. No worry, second in team ranking, but first in personal contribution ranking. That's a pile of Y money, G coins, Super Soul Secrets, and one last Neon Mirai. Just need to accept all the rewards in my inbox, and... There he is. The last Neon Mirai is a brave SS rank single attacker. His hit points are really nothing to write home about, but he's got that great attack stat. We'll have to see if he or Shogun King M is the pinnacle of the brave tribe, but either way I'm excited to have him. We don't yet have the Dream Watch, but when we do, that'll be another big boost to his stats. His skill is Brave Unity, but skill secrets are still pretty precious, so I won't be upgrading him just yet. I hope you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to me on YouTube and Twitter for the latest in Wibble Wobble and Puni Puni information. Until the next video, good luck with the scramble.